Hey guys, and welcome to Coding Week. Today we're going to be looking at the simplest method to upload a file from the client side to the server side Express app. So let's get right into it. So let's first install the Express with the command npm i express and dash dash save. So once that's done, you can just route to your express folder using your favorite editor. So here's our express app. So this method doesn't require any other modules except for the express app. So let's get started by creating a public directory. This will contain the files which is required for our client side. So let's just create an index.html file and let's also create a file in the main directory called server.js and let's first import the, or require the express module require and then let's uh, also import the fs module which will be downloaded with the express and then we can create our express app by const app is equal to express and then uh, we can use middlewares which is default downloaded with the express uh, using express.app.use so first we're gonna be in, uh, using the middleware which is downloaded with express called express dot and url encoded and extended semicolon true and so by default express will limit the size of upload so we're gonna increase that to around 100 mb you can put whatever uh, amount of data you want to limit it to so then we'll uh, use the middleware from another middleware from express called express dot json and we're also going to limit this to 100 mb so with that done um we can actually serve our html file by writing app.get slash which is the route main route and then this will have the request and the response so we're gonna be sending back the uh, HTML file so rest dot send file and we can write the path to this thing so we will first direct to our folder and then we'll write the public directory so public slash index dot html so next we're just gonna put app dot listen to any number uh, which is free so i'm gonna use 3000 and once the listening starts then we can just do console dot log we are listen name to port 3000 
so let's test if this works so node server.js so we're listening to port 3000 let's just go and test it by writing local host and put in the port and let's just display some default text so let's get the basic template and let's just put in h1 tag with welcome and save and if we reload we can see welcome so with that done let's get right into uploading and importing and uploading the file be getting an input with the type file and we can write an ID for this called file and let's create a script tag so from here we're gonna be um, sending the file from this script tag so we're not gonna be creating an extra external file for that so let's just create a button called send file and let's do an on click event and call the function send file so let's create the function called send file we're not going to be uh, getting any parameters so let's access the file input first so const file is equal to document dot get element by id file in single quotes or double quotes so we got the uh, access to the input but we don't have access to the file so files or files of the array zero to get the file and then so to process the file to be able to be sent to the server we have to create file reader so const reader is equal to new file file reader and then we can listen to uh, the file reader on when the file is ready uh, so we can add an event listener so when the file is loaded we can create a function and then we can just get the result is equal to reader dot result so we have the file in base 64 format right now so uh, just for safety reasons, we're going to be uh, actually encoding uh, the encoding URI component, the data which we just got. So, where file, I mean, that's or we can just put the same variable. So, then we're going to be calling the encode URI component and we can just pass in the result. So next to send this file from the um, client side to the server side, we're going to be using XML HTTP request. So let's write that. So we're going to be creating a variable called XML. It's going to new XML HTTP request. And then when the request is um, so we're gonna open the request to port, I mean test to the um so first let's specify the method which we're gonna write as post. So we're gonna use the post method and then we're gonna send it to the URL of slash post and then we're just gonna uh, leave that and then we're gonna set in header so set request header and so we're going to basically be setting the content type as applic 
location slash json and then we're gonna send the uh, encoded URI component of the file which is gonna be xml.send and so we're gonna be sending the body as a json file so json data so we have to stringify it and we can send data semicolon result and we can also send the file name so we have done that so we have to uh, start loading the data into the file reader that we just created so let's check if there's a file and if there is a file so we can just create reader dot read data as url and we can write file so this is it for our client side for sending the file so let's get into the server side so as we have uh, set the url post as the slash post so let's just listen to that post request so when there's a post request to slash post url then we have an callback actually a sync callback so we have a request response and then we can create a function so we're gonna be creating the getting the data url from the request so data url is equal to so as we had encoded the data we have to decode it at the server side so we can just call the decode uri component function and we can just send the send the data that we just sent so as we had set it as data we have to write dot data so now that we have access to the data url that we created on the client side we have to process it to be able to create it as a file so gonna write variable so we're gonna actually uh, buffer it so buffer dot from and we're gonna uh, actually get only the data part and not the actual url which has the base 64 so we're gonna write data data url dot split with the comma and we're gonna get the content only and this is gonna be a base 64 format so just select the 64 and then now we have the file we have to write it to the place where we want so we're going to be using fs but write file sync and we can specify the path for this so i'm putting it as uh, uploads and then slash and then the file name that we also sent with the um with the xml http request so request dot body dot file name so and then we have to put the data which is gonna be the buffer that we just created and that's it you have just created the simplest way to upload any file from client side to the server side. So let's just test this out. So let's stop the current server from running and 
you go let's just open the inspect and let's just use file so i have a few files here so i'm just gonna open it in h first so okay we put response.body sorry for the mistake so it's request.body so let's run it again just clear the screen and run it again we're listening to port 3000 reload the page choose the file and send so we don't have the file directory so fs module doesn't create the file directory so you have to manually create the file directory or you can create it using fs so i'm just creating it manually so there you go and if we just click the button again we should have the image inside the uploads so there you go we got the image from the client side to the server side so now let's just choose a video file and send it this might take a little time because it's an interesting visual studio code doesn't support video files so i'll just run it from the default video player so let's just go to uploads and as you can see we send the video also this can be used to send any file not just video and uh, images so that's it thank you for watching this video hope you liked it don't forget to click the subscribe button and like this video if you liked it goodbye